This is a canoe ornament from the Republic of Vanuatu, which was previously called New Hebrides. It's about 100 years old. This would have been placed at the front or the prow of a canoe, connected by a rope to the front. Essentially, this would then be the lead of the canoe. It's at the front of the canoe. Canoes were extremely important items in Vanuatu. Uh, they were symbols of wealth and prestige, so you had to be a leader or a wealthy man to be able to afford to have a canoe. But more than that, they were also just essential for communication and trade uh, in the archipelago. This canoe prow features the form of a frigate bird. You can see the large open bill and a swooping neck. Essentially, then, the canoe became the body of the bird. So the occupants of the canoe were kind of enveloped and protected within the frigate bird. On top of the frigate bird is a shark form. Sharks, as we all know from this culture, many species of sharks are very ferocious and very aggressive creatures. These would have been powers that a canoe leader, a canoe captain and navigator would want to tap into because he would be responsible for making sure that canoe was protected and all the inhabitants in the canoe. So those aggressive creatures you, you tap into and translate into human power. Frigate birds are also aggressive. We don't tend to think of birds as being very aggressive, but they are. In fact, that's why we named some of our warships frigates. Frigate birds are ruthless. They are seabirds, and the way they get food is they bully and they attack other seabirds. So when they see a seagull or other bird catch fish and are in the air, the frigate will come and scare the bird, will knock it in the chest, or simply be very loud until the bird will dis disengorge or regurgitate the food. And then the frigate will swoop and pick up the food before it hits the ground. So again, very, very aggressive qualities, very much warrior qualities.